Rule 62, Interpleader, Section 1. When interpleader proper, whenever conflicting claims upon the same subject matter are or may be made against a person who claims no interest whatever in the subject matter or an interest which in whole or in part is not disputed by the claimants, he may bring an action against the conflicting claimants to compel them to interplead and litigate their several claims among themselves. Section 2 Order Upon the filing of the complaint, the court shall issue an order requiring the conflicting claimants to interplead with one another. If the interest of justice so require, the court may direct in such order that the subject matter be paid or delivered to the court. Section 3. Summons. Summons shall be served upon the conflicting claimants together with a copy of the complaint and order. Section 4. Motion to dismiss. Within the time for filing an answer, each claimant may file a motion to dismiss on the ground of impropriety of the interpleader action or on other appropriate grounds specified in Rule 16. The period to file the answer shall be told, and if the motion is denied, the movement may file his answer within the remaining period by which shall not be less than five days in any event reckoned from the notice of denial. Section 5. Answer and other pleadings. Each claimant shall file his answer setting forth his claim within 15 days from service of the summons upon him serving a copy thereof upon each of the other conflicting claimants who may file their reply thereto as provided by these rules. If any claimant fails to plead within the time herein fixed, the court may on motion declare him in default and thereafter render judgment bearing him from any claim in respect to the subject matter. The parties in an interpleader action may file counterclaims, cross-claims, third-party complaints, and responsive pleadings thereto as provided by these rules section six determination after the pleadings of the conflicting claimants have been filed and pre-trial has been conducted in accordance with the rules the court shall proceed to determine their respective rights and adjudicate their several claims section seven docket and other lawful fees cost and litigation expenses as liens the docket and other lawful fees paid by the party who filed the complaint under this rule as well as the cost and litigation expenses shall constitute a lien or charge upon the subject matter of the action unless the court shall order otherwise.